The skunk was so beautiful. He has a white white stripe from his head all the way to his tail, and then he has also a white thing on his toes. And oh, he's beautiful. Please continue watching to find out more. Tengan un bendecido día, amados televidentes. That means, have a blessed day, beloved viewers, in Spanish, the official language of Mexico. My name is Manuel. I am a handsome vegan striped skunk from magnificent Mexico. The animals and people of Mexico wish your life to be full of joy and God's blessing. Welcome to our show entitled The Bold Confidence of the Striped Skunk. Today, I'd like to share with you about who we striped skunks are and why you needn't fear coming across us because, despite our confident attitude, we are very sweet-natured little animals. Please stay tuned. Our striped skunk family is native to North America, ranging from the Atlantic to Pacific Oceans. You can find us almost anywhere in southern Canada, all over the continental United States and northern Mexico. We love to live in open areas like forests, grasslands, ravines, and just about anywhere with lots of greenery. Nowadays, we have adapted to the environment that is close to our human friends' living areas, such as the countryside and cultivated lands. Yet, wherever we stay, we like to be close to a water source. We always nest less than three kilometers from water. We usually choose to live in abandoned burrows of other animal friends, like foxes and woodchucks, or under rock piles, tree stumps, logs, or cellars. We can also dig our own dens if we need to, and we collect a lot of leaves to cover our nest outside and put some inside to make a comfortable bed. We striped skunks have a magnificent thick and shiny coat with one unique feature, our white stripes, which run from our head to our tail. The stripe starts from our nose as a thin white stripe between our eyes up to the top of our heads, where it meets a large solid white triangle that then splits into a V-shape, running down our backs meeting again at the end of our tails. Kind of looks like a superhero costume, don't you think? The rest of our body is black, except for the upper part of the tail, which has a mixture of black and white fur. If you look closely, you'll also notice that we each have our own distinct stripe pattern. We may be small, about the same size as a house cat, but we are the biggest of the extended skunk family. Our heads are small and triangle shaped, with small ears and black eyes. Although we can't see very well because we are nocturnal, and our eyes lack nectating membranes, our ability to smell and hear are exceptional. Our short legs have webbed toes and long straight claws that we can use for digging and looking for food. We normally live alone and although we like to only come out at night, we sometimes stay out looking for food until just before sunrise. When going out at night, we usually don't travel too far from home, usually only about 800 meters from our burrow. During the summer, we try to eat a lot, so that by the end of fall, our bodies are protected with a layer of fat. When it gets cold in November or December, it's time for us to go into hibernation so that we can sleep through the winter. This is the time when a few of us will choose to stay together in one den so we can keep each other warm and safe. 
the fat we store up before winter is our only source of energy, so after our hibernation we would have lost up to 50% of our body weight. When spring comes again, we go out and start a new year of our simple life as a happy confident skunk. Now that you know a little bit more about us skunks in general, let me tell you more about my own life as a skunk. I was born in May, which is also the month that all the baby skunks come into this exciting world. I have five sisters and brothers who all have the same birthday as me. It's typical in our community to have four to six babies in one litter, but some families even have up to ten babies. Wow, now that's a big family. Newborn skunks are furless and their eyes are closed. Around three weeks of age, we open our eyes and it only takes us 13 days for our coats to grow fully. Our mama nurses us in our den until the sixth or seventh week when we are weaned and then we can follow her when she goes out into the big wide world. We love our mama so much, since she is not only our protector, but she is also our instructor, who shows us the world and teaches us all the survival skills we need to be safe. The time we lived together was the best time of my life. However, as much as we love our mama, we have to grow up and take care of ourselves. By July and August, we boys start to live on our own and our sisters stay with mama till the next spring before they build their family. Awesome viewers, let us take a brief pause while I nibble on some dried fruit. We will be right back after this constructive message. Please stay with us here on Supreme Master Television. Vegan because we want to keep our planet. Welcome back to our program, The Bold Confidence of the Striped Skunk, on Supreme Master Television. Did you know that striped skunks are considered the geniuses in the skunk family? I can proudly say that we are very smart and can adapt quickly to our environment and food source changes. Not just that, we are actually very sweet and docile despite our not so pleasant reputation. Our philosophy is quite simple, as long as no one bothers us, we don't bother anyone. If, however, we find ourselves in danger, a smelly liquid from our scent glands will make you want to run for the hills. Despite our scientific name being Mephitis, which means bad odor, we only ever use this method as a last resort. Our short legs make it difficult for us to run away from threats, so spraying the oily musky smelling liquid can help us to buy time to run away. Believe me, we prefer not to use this defensive method because it takes us about 10 days to completely recharge our scent glands, leaving us vulnerable during this time. Did you know that we can communicate with each other from afar, not only between us, but also with other animals as well? Supreme Master Chin Hai told this story on Supreme Master Television about Nai, a prince in the Skunk Kingdom, when Nai came to see Master to convey a message from heaven, Master was so amazed by his appearance. The skunk was so beautiful. He has a white, white stripe from his head all the way to his tail. And then he has also a white thing on his toes. And Oh, he's beautiful. Master offered the royal skunk prince some vegan dog food which he gratefully accepted. She cared so much about him that she wanted to make sure that there was always food available for him and worried about his safety. It's getting colder now and wet. Poor skunk almost crawling away because he's a very short leg, you know? And he has to mend the inside of the uh, 
bushes and all that at night, yeah? I don't know how he finds his way. I feel sorry for him. Almost by crawling way of movement, because he has short feet, in tall grass or weeds, or just to find food, almost teary, thinking of him. Saw him only twice, first the whole body, but only sideways. He went in the bush. Second time he was a few meters away in the dark, only his eyes glow in the night, shimmering, shining at me with such pureness, while telling me the message for my safety. Love him so much, wish him well, but feel sorry for his lot. Oh God, all the creatures on earth suffer one way or another. No escape. When will this all end? Make paradise on earth quick, okay? That's what I said. Master told Nai not to eat anything that was still alive, so she could take him with her after his life ended. That was why Nai and I turned vegan. We are grateful for your love, Master. We love you. We skunks can live up to seven years on average in nature, even though our population is not considered at risk by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, a lot of us don't make it through the first year, due to harsh weather, diseases and human activities. Please help to protect us by reducing, reusing and recycling plastics, and keep your surroundings, especially water sources, clean. We hope you enjoyed our show and have a much better understanding about our gentle species. Que te vaya bien. I wish you well. See you again soon. Caring viewers, thank you for joining us for our program today. Coming up next is Buddhist Stories, Sinka the Brahmin Girl, Part 3 of 5, on Between Master and Disciples, right after noteworthy news. May heaven guide you to the right path. Vegan, because we're ethically worthy. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash aw.